What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equali Espresso and holy crap I'm so excited to bring to you guys today what we're gonna be taking a look at that is the exo zombies Trailer here for the havoc DLC pack this trailer dropped today and oh my god Goodness, I'm so excited. I am a huge Zombies fan, you guys know that 100%, and this just got me so much more hyped. One week away, all aboard the hype train, let's go. Today we're gonna be taking a look and breaking down this trailer here that we got for the Exo Zombies game mode specifically. So what we're gonna be doing is taking a look, breaking down, maybe stopping on a few frames in general to show you guys what exactly you could have possibly missed, but what we're gonna be doing is just taking a full in-depth look at all of this. So let's start this off. Firstly, we We've got our main opening sequence where Malkovich is actually cleaning up the floors, just, you know, doing his janitorial jobs. Then he sees that there was something that busted loose in the basements. This actually does, in fact, tie in with our storyline. Atlas dropped the Manticore bomb in the campaign, thinking that it would win them the war. But in this spinoff here, it actually creates something much worse than a war even continuing. However, the rest of this opening sequence and cinematics here are pretty much just introducing us to our characters, showing what they do and what their role is. Malkovich, the maintenance man, McGowan, the IT specialist, Paxton, the executive, and Bernthal, the security. This just goes through all of what they're going through as the outbreak starts. Now, let's move over into our actual gameplay focus. What we're going to be seeing as players coming out of this and what we can expect. The first sequence that I want to show you here does actually showcase double points as well as something even more. We know that the Exo Zombies have a bunch of different characteristics to them, one of which being a lightning type zombie, which once you get hit, it will knock out your EXO and you'll have to reboot. Now, from the same sequence, we can take a look at some simpler things like the HUD. Your character, again, is displayed by the security badge as well as your points are down there as well. But if you look directly up from that in the corner, there looks to be another station similar to what we saw with a perk that would probably be buyable. This one, it looks almost like an icon that you would see with a hospital. So my guess is it might be either a quick revive or some sort of extra health like a Juggernog. The next scene that we get, we get to see one of our traps. This one is a laser cutter cutting through our zombies, killing them at the knees and taking them out. Whether or not that's something that hurts us players, that's something for time to tell and we'll have to see once we get into the actual gameplay. Now in this same scene, we can look across from the Exopod station here. We can see that there is an orbital care package sitting there with an icon that I have honestly no idea what that could be. We see it a few times here scattered throughout this trailer. If you have any idea what it could be, let me know down in the comment section down below. My guess is it's something similar to maybe an EXO ability because we do see it stashed on our character's EXO and lower HUD with our weapon and grenades and all that kind of stuff later on. But right now, we have no indication as to what it could be. Now, the next thing is we have dogs. Maybe not hellhounds, but they do quite remind me of them. But it's still terrifyingly awesome. I'm really curious to see if it's going to be its own separate round based on this cinematic that we have here. You can't really tell if there are or zombies other than these dogs coming at you in the same sequence of events, but whether or not that's something that's going to be its own round, again, that's for something time will tell. Now, the next thing we're going to be talking about here is something seemingly pretty simple to the game mode and the game itself, the Exo Station. Granted, we're always going to have something to do with Exo Suits here in Advanced Warfare because that's one of the main staples of the game, but it seems like you start without your Exo Suits and have to work your way to them. Now, my guess is that this is the equivalent of turning on the power from the Treyarch iteration of Zombies. That's when things start to come along nicely in the Treyarch version, and and we'll see some other pieces of the puzzle from Treyarch Zombies here in a second, but I feel as if this exostation is what the equivalent of turning on the power would be. So, my guess as well, since it does seem like there are numbered stations throughout the actual trailer, is that you'll be able to upgrade it at some point in time, similar to Exo Survival, and tying it in with that game mode. Now, something that I feel a lot of people will be overlooking in this trailer is a hunch that I have that Pack-a-Punch will be returning. I want you to pay attention to the next two scenes here very closely. Look at the weapon name. First, it is an Atlas 45 MK2. Then in the very next scene, it becomes the Atlas 45 MK8. Pack-a-Punch seems to be returning in my eyes or something that upgrades the weapons over time that is almost identical to the Pack-a-Punch machine. Now, while we're on the topic of wonder items from what we know from Treyarch Zombies, the mystery box is returning. This was actually talked about on the Call of Duty Twitter last night. They were hyping this up a little bit, playing it off as if they were Lilith, the actual IT specialist in the Exo Zombies game mode, tweeting out stuff like security footage and all that kind of stuff. They actually showcased what would be the mystery box, and it is a 3D printing 
random machine. A nice little twist on the mystery box to bring it up to speed with Advanced Warfare, play it right into the time frame and tech of Advanced Warfare. We already saw the new weapon, the Cell 3 Cauterizer from the Havoc DLC trailer itself. Next up, we've got something that actually made me do a double take whenever I was watching it, trying to pick apart a few things that I felt like were little back pieces of information, was what I thought to be a teleporter. This sequence of events here kind of makes me think, you know what, this is what the teleporter will be if it's an advanced warfare. That's something that if it is actually in fact, would be a returning fan favorite that we have not seen in years. Now that's all just a hunch and speculation, I don't know if that's in fact going to be something here. Lilith could just be stepping onto a platform that looks something like it and not actually is it. But moving on, the next thing that we want to talk about here is a Nova 6-esque zombie. This zombie blows up and shoots a mist out that I'm guessing can hurt a player. I'm interested to see how that actually plays out. Now the very last thing that I want to talk to you guys about here in this trailer is the fact that insta-kill returns. We already saw that double points is returning, so that's two now of the big wonder perks that we got in Treyarch Zombies. So playing a little bit more into that, seeing some fan favorites return. And the thing that I loved about it was this player was using insta-kill right, punching or knifing these zombies instead of actually wasting their ammo. But all jokes aside, we're gonna be seeing that and probably a few other wonder perks now returning in Advanced Warfare Zombies. But that is all for this breakdown here, my friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me just think down there in the comment section down below. Did you guys catch anything that I may have missed or did something that I said specifically stand out to you that you guys are super excited for? Hopefully you guys are as stoked for Exo Zombies as I am. I will leave the actual trailer link down in the description below so you can check it out the full way through uninterrupted, unedited, and all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you're OJ, that always greatly appreciated for newer. Be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news or fans, you guys know exactly to find out right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.